Hi everyone, welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the Canadian dollar. So we're going to be having a look at the Amer uh, the USD CAD um, pair just to see where roughly the Canadian dollar has been in the recent days and months. As generally it's been one of the stronger performers in dealing with the global vol uh, market volatility with regards to things like inflation and recessionary pressures. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to have a look at the weekly chart just to get a sense of how it's been trading this pair and what we can see is we've got a pretty consistent range um, going back really um, since about 2016 so five to six years and we can see that we've ranged between 120 to 150 really and that's peaked um, during COVID and come down um, towards the middle of last year. Since that time um, we've been able to break the Canadian We've been able to see a breakthrough on the US dollar as it's been super strong. However, what we have actually seen on this pair is in the most recent week, we've seen a bit of exhaustion. And this can be explained by the Canadian um, GDP figures coming out, the month on month figures, which was 0.1% and 0.2% higher than the expected uh, negative uh, growth of uh, zero, uh, negative 0.1%. So we can see that this point has actually hit a quite a strong resistance point and is coming back down. It's also reflected in the RSI, which is just peaking above that kind of um, 70 level. And the last time we were at this high was the peak of COVID. And since the, and at that time, we just came down straight away. So you can see we are looking to potentially bounce off this top here. As we have a look at the daily chart for some potential entries, just bear with me. What we can see is again, we've got this exhausted kind of period of consolidation. Whoops, let's get rid of that. So we've got this kind of period of consolidation. We don't know if we're yet going to break through. However, once again, we can see we're extremely exhausted on the RSI. We're very much overbought. Again, the last time was during COVID. So we would be expecting at the very least some kind of either consolidation or fall back. Now, if we do look at a short position, we're potentially seeing targets at 135 as a short term. And then as we look further out, we may fall back all the way to 132, which is that most recent level um, of support. But there you go, guys. Um, as you can see, just a little bit of uh, overextension, overextended buying on the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So just be weary of a potential move, either again, potentially another period of consolidation to the upside or a move back down. But just one to watch, especially with more US economic data to come out tonight. So thanks for watching and good luck trading.